Brothers and sisters, this is the definition of hell from the Smith's Bible Dictionary, my favorite dictionary. And this definition clearly tells you how the word shields should be rendered in the Old Testament. Okay? It says, this is the word hell. This is the word generally and unfortunately used by our translators to render the Hebrew shields. It would perhaps have been better to retain the Hebrew word shields or else always, always by the grave or the pit. It is deep and dark in the center of the earth, having within it depths on depths and fastened with gates and bars like it used to be in the ancient of days. And in this cavernous realm are the souls of the dead, the raphiams, and the ill spirits. It is clear that in many passages of the Old Testament, shield can only mean the grave and is rendered in the King James Version. In other passages, however, it seems to involve a notion of punishment and is therefore rendered in the King James Version by the word hell. But in many cases, this translation misleads the reader. Okay? It is obvious, for instance, that in Job 8, 11, 8, in Psalms 139 and 8, in Amos 9 and 3, where hell is used as the antithesis of heaven, merely illustrates the Jewish notion of the locality of shields in the bowels of the earth, the grave. In the New Testament, the word Hades, like shield, sometimes means merely the grave, as in Revelations 20 and uh, 13, and in Acts uh, 2 and 31. Uh, in 1 Corinthians 15 and 55, or in general, the unseen world. It is in, it is, it is in this sense that the creeds say to our Lord, He went down into hell, meaning the state of the dead in general, without any restriction of happiness or misery. A doctrine certainly thought only virtually expressed in Scripture. Elsewhere in the New Testament, Hades is used of a place of torment. Consequently, it has been prevalent, almost the universal notion that Hades is an intermediate state between the dead and resurrection. Divided into two parts, one, the abode of the blessed and the other of the lost. In holding this view, main reliance in place on the parable and dives and Lazarus. But it is impossible to the ground to prove of an important theological doctrine on the passage which confessedly abounds in the Jewish metaphors. The word most frequently used in the New Testament for a place of future punishment is Gehenna or the Gehenna of fire. I like here how it says at the very beginning that this is the word generally and unfortunately used by our translators to render the Hebrew word shields. It would perhaps have been better to retain the Hebrew word shields or always render it by the grave or the pit. And that the word hell is misleading.